UAV Types, Classifications, and Purposes UAV stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, and it covers all remotely controlled machines that are also known as drones or quadcopters, as well as aircraft used by the U.S. Air Force. These machines are mainly used by military and police officers to carry out an operation where a manned aircraft seems impractical or too risky. Unmanned aircraft are not new. They have been in use since World War I. However, at that time, the control was mechanical and the aircraft could only go as far as the fuel would allow. Later on, devices that could be controlled with the help of radio or infrared technology were developed. These devices became the predecessors of the modern drone that employs integrated circuit or computer chips and can be programmed to fly for a definite time period in a definite direction, fulfilling a definite purpose. This design gave rise to the latest quadcopters that are available on the market for hobbyists of all ages who love to fly drones. UAV Classification According to the U.S. Air Force UAVs can be classified into many different types depending on the purpose for which they are used. However, not all of these are available on the market for general public. The ones available on the market are usually called quadcopters that come with or without a camera and GPS meant for fun or entertainment purposes. Some commercial units are also made to achieve objectives specific to a company or business. However, the more advanced machines used by the U.S. Air Force are classified into four main types. Number 1. Extremely Small UAVs, also known as Micro-AV or MAV. Number 2. Low Altitude Long endurance UAVs. Number three, medium altitude, long endurance UAVs, aka male. Number four, high altitude, long endurance UAVs, aka hail. Examples of these UAVs include Global Hawk, Mariner, Hunter, Predator, and Fire Scout. These are large, sophisticated flying machines with a satellite data link system, cameras, radar, laser designators, and weapons. Most of these are fully autonomous, which means they are intelligent devices capable of decision-making during their flight. They capture battle damage information in real time and convey it back to the soldiers on the ground. They are able to provide continuous operations for up to seven or eight hours of staying in the air. Functional Classification of UAVs There are six functional categories of UAVs, and these machines are designed to achieve a particular objective. The purposes that these drones fulfill include target acquisition, battlefield intelligence, attack, also known as unmanned combat air vehicle, cargo and logistics, research and development, and commercial UAVs. UAVs are also classified according to their size, and these are known as micro, miniature, midsize, and large military-specific or combat drones. The main function that makes these UAVs different from the ones available off the shelf is their ability to fly autonomously. This means that the vehicle is able to make decisions depending on its flight to change direction, capture images, or return to ground. These machines come equipped with various sensors, and in order to make a decision, the input from different sensors is merged. They are also able to communicate with other UAVs flying around, as well as ground stations and satellites. They are capable of determining the ideal course for achieving a mission. These powerful capabilities make them extremely sensitive and sophisticated devices, and these operations are not available in drones or quadcopters used for the purpose of fun and entertainment. Hobbyist Drones Hobbyist drones are the most common type of drone and come in various sizes, designs, prices, and functionality. Hobbyist UAVs can be further classified into three main types. Ready to Fly, or RTF, Bind and Fly, or BNF, and Almost Ready to Fly, or ARF. Ready-to-fly drones are the most commonly used UAVs among general public, hobbyists, and entrepreneurs. As it is clear from the name, 
These types of flying machines do not need much assembly as they come equipped with the required functionality and you only need to put in the batteries and you're good to go. These RTF drones are designed to provide the user with many basic and advanced features, which are quite useful for a number of applications. The latest quadcopters come with a 12 megapixel camera for taking excellent quality aerial photos, as well as record 4K video. They also offer live HD video streaming on your smartphone or any other handheld device. The newest drones are associated with a mobile app to give you more control over its functionality, as well as use a flight simulator for learning how to fly. The flight times vary from model to model, but a fairly good quality quadcopter provides up to 30 minutes of continuous flight time. Bind and Fly, on the other hand, requires you to first bind the machine with its transmitter before taking it off the ground. Such a machine is not meant for hobbyists, as it requires a little assembly, which only experts can handle. Similarly, ARF, or almost ready to fly aircraft, requires some sort of assembly before they can be used. These machines come with instruction manuals so that anyone could assemble them easily and quickly. They are perfect for expert pilots who already have the radio equipment, the transmitter and receiver, and are only looking for other parts to complete the structure of their drone. All these drones or UAVs are available off the shelf in the price range of $50 to $3,000, and even more depending on their specifications, model, and overall design. Most quadcopters are very robust and durable, and therefore, they'll last for a long time if handled properly. Although these UAVs are called good drones, they do pose a threat to public safety as they can mistakenly fly over private property and no-fly zones, or collide with another aircraft, damage something, or crash land somewhere unknown. It is therefore advisable to follow the precautionary measures while flying these seemingly harmless quadcopters for the sake of fun in order to ensure safety. We hope you found this video informative. Check out our other videos to find out what's new in the drone industry. Are you looking for the best pilots in the country to compete for your business? Go to uavlance.com. For the best rates on drone rentals or to rent out your own drone, go to uavlance.com. To find full-time employment or to bid on UAV jobs, go to uavlance.com. To organize or enter a local drone race, go to uavlance.com. To search the only drone insurance comparison site on the Internet, go to uavlance.com. To search the only drone attorney comparison site on the Internet, go to uavlance.com. To enter pilot skills challenges and earn money, go to uavlance.com. To search the lowest prices on drones on the Internet, go to uavlance.com. To learn the latest best practices in UAV services, go to uavlance.com.